welcome back to my channel i'm happy that you guys are here watching this video um this is just going to summarize my third trimester i should have been doing these the entire time but i just didn't i couldn't stay consistent and i was working now i'm not working so it's easier for me to find time to do these things um so yeah i'm gonna just basically so the video is not too long because i'm worried about that because uh, when I posted my baby shower haul, it was like 21 and I cut some stuff out and I actually got, people really liked that video. So it gave me the motivation to keep doing these types of videos. And if there's other videos that are sort of like this that you want to see, just let me know and I would definitely do those. Um, eventually I'm going to hook my camera back up. I've been recording on my phone out of laziness. Hopefully that dwindles after the baby, which I know it won't. Um, so yeah, basically I'm going to go over body stuff. I'm gonna give you a belly shot, um, emotional things, and then things with the, like updates with the baby. And I can be pretty accurate because I just went to the doctor today. So I'm at, my, I'm, I'm at weekly visits now because, I mean, according to them, I'm 37 weeks. According to myself, I'm 38 and a half from going off my own day, 38 and a half, 39. Um, so I think they're, they're like a week and a half off. So, um,. Where to start? So today I went to the doctor. Um, everything turned out perfectly fine. The baby is not, he said she's not big, she's not small. She's pretty good size, probably between six and seven pounds, which is what we want her to be. Um, heartbeat's fine. Her pelt, I'm not dilated yet, but her pelt is extremely low. So he's thinking next week when I go that I could start to become dilated. And that's what I'm hoping for. But if you want to know about doctor, I can make a separate video about how doctor appointments go if you guys want to see something like that. Because uh, they're pretty boring overall. They just update you on things. So first I'm going to talk about my body things. Um, now I, I'm going to I'm going to tell you guys my total weight gain. I started off at about 150, my natural weight. And I'm tall, so I'm about 5'8". 150 and I'll insert a picture of how small I was when I started. And uh, that'll be somewhere over here. And then I'm going to just give you guys the belly shot at the end of, or whatever, or what I look like now. But I've gained a total of 42 pounds. I've gained 42 pounds on pregnancy. I'm still not big. It's all stomach. I have a little bit of thigh, a little bit of butt now. But um, I'm not really sure how I've gained so much. But I was worried. So I'm like, why am I gaining? Well, I didn't even notice until they told me because I can't. I was always naturally very skinny. Uh, he, but everyone they showed me that it's not it's not abnormal. I was small to begin with, um, so my weight gain is like normal for me because I probably should have gained before. Um, also, all my everything's healthy. My blood pressure is good. My glucose is good. Everything's good, so I'm not gonna worry about my weight too much. Especially since I kind of like it. I don't, I don't like want my <laughs> hips and thighs to leave. Um. One big difference from first trimester, I mean, from second trimester to third trimester is tiredness. In the past few weeks, it's been so bad. Like, I could sit down for five minutes and feel like I can go to full-blown bed. No matter what time of day, no matter who's around, noise, anything. I get exhausted. I'm out of breath right now, first of all. Why? That didn't happen before. Um, uh, especially be being an athletic build, athletic person. These are all very strange for me. Um, so I'm very tired. Uh, I nap several, I can nap several times out of the day. If I don't, then I'm going to bed early and I can still sleep in late. So it's like sleep is taking over. I try not to sleep all day, but I definitely can. Um, if I'm not woken up by something, so that's a big one tiredness, but I knew that was coming. It's just towards the end, you just get exhausted and I'm just exhausted all the time. Everything, no matter what, just, I'm just tired. Um, I had a big problem in my second trimester with swollen feet and swollen ankles. I'm not sure why that was so, so, such a big problem for me at that time, but I, it actually have, has subsided in my third trimester. Um, I don't know if my body's just adjusting to the weight or what it is, but my feet and my ankles have been much, much better. Um, if I'm on them for too long, you get a little bit achy, but they're not swell, swelling up like they were before, which is really good. Um, also, that has to do with my hydration, which it, which leads me to another thing that has happened um extreme thirst i am thirsty all day long i'm drinking over 100 ounces of water a day um and then i can just keep drinking so every time i buy like a normal size water bottle 20 ounce water bottle i drink it in one sip it's gone i 
it's like I never had it. Like right now I'm parched, but um, it's like nonstop. And then I want cold water. I was never an ice cold water drinker, but I'm ice cold water drinker. It's like 1 17 in the morning. I'm tempted to go to the store and get some ice cold water um, right now. <laughs> um, let me slow down because I know I'm probably talking too fast. But I just don't want this video to be too, too long. Um, my face. Um, yeah, if you look at my, my face has gained weight, but that just comes with natural weight gain. I haven't had anything crazy happen to my face. I know some people get discoloration around here. I've always had acne discoloration, so my face, I don't notice anything. Like, I don't have on any makeup now, but my skin actually has improved, like, drastically. Um, I really didn't wear makeup too much throughout my whole pregnancy, um, just because of either not feeling like it or not feeling necessary. I don't know, not having the energy to do it. Um my appetite um uh, my cravings my whole entire pregnancy my cravings have been up and down it's like i'll have a craving that lasts for maybe two weeks and there'll be something totally different and then i won't crave anything and then it'll change like right now at this moment i just literally ate a whole box of 10 corn dogs in two days um which is disturbing when you think about it like that but that's something i've been craving um i yeah, my cravings are up and down. I don't. I haven't, haven't had any like serious like the any size of chicken wings, but I've always been a wing person. But I would only eat the any size of chicken wings from like TJ Fridays. That's something I've been craving. The frozen ones though that you make at home. Big craving. Um, and then I've cra I've drunk more juice and pop than I've pretty much ever drunk in my life. Because as a ch as children, my parents didn't buy it, um, but I want it all the time now. So I want juice, pop, water all day long. Um, let's see. I'm sorry. I'm looking over here to my laptop. I made a list of my laptop. My hips ache. Um, I know that now, I know that now it's because, well, I figured this before, but her head is very, very low in my pelvis right now. So the, that's where, where the waddle comes in. My waddle isn't too severe, but it, well, according to me, but some people think that it's a little bit severe. Um, but that's her head is so low into my pelvis, my Doctor said it's wedged between my pelvis bone right now, so I'm close to being dilated. And, um, oh, also back to the appetite. Sometimes I will go through periods of not having an appetite my third trimester. I wouldn't have one at all. I think it's because of how the baby will be positioned on my stomach. It will make me not want to eat. That was only here and there, but it, it was either eat a whole lot or eat nothing at all. So it was, like, very strange. Um, so, yeah, the pelvic pain. So I've been having pelvic pain, my hips will ache. Um, and that's just, that That can just be, I can wake up with aching hips. Um, and then that goes into the lightning sensation that's been happening more and more and more. I don't know if you know what that is, it's when you feel like a jolt of lightning in your vagina though. So it's like, it makes your knees buckle. It's like, it's, it's not comfortable at all, but I get it several times out of the day because of how low she is. It's because she's hitting a nerve how, and because of how low she is in my pelvis. Um, and all this low pelvis talk goes to the fact that I am using the bathroom way more. My bladder can't really hold at all. And that's like, it kind of reminds me of first trimester because it kind of goes away second trimester. Um, but third trimester, I'm using the bathroom all the time because she's so low she's pressing on my bladder um all these things as you can imagine make it very hard for me to sleep so i spend most of my time napping during the day or trying to sleep in because i'm not getting any sleep at night i'm waking up regularly at night um because just because i'm just i can't get comfortable or i have to use the bathroom or i'm craving something or i'm thirsty it's just always something that's keeping me up in the night um, also, I'm going to insert a picture because I don't feel like I want to go grab mine, but I have this pillow that saved my life. It's like a wedge pillow. You you can use it for the baby once they're born to help them. I got it from Bye Bye Baby. It's just like a small wedge and you just, I just wedge it on my side so my stomach's not leaning when I sleep on my side. But I've also learned one of the most comfortable ways for me to lay is to stack pillows in front of me and lay on my stomach. So lay higher up, like stack maybe like four or five pillows. So my stomach's not being, I'm not, not actually laying on my stomach, but I can like lay flat. Um, that's super comfortable for me. Um, and then nesting. I'm so, I have I have begun to nest. Like I feel the urge to get all, all of her things together because all I can think about is her being here, obviously. So I just nest 
in that way. I went through all her baby stuff, her clothes, everything. I feel like everything needs to be ready for when she gets here. The last thing we pretty much need to do is just her car seat. Um, and then, oh, very last thing with the body will be leaking. My, my boobs leak. So, uh, I don't know that I knew that before, but my boobs do leak colostrum. Like, I'll wake up from bed and I'll have colostrum. Like, I'll have, like, a bunch of marks on my shirt or whatever I wore to bed from, um, my boobs leaking or just during the day. They'll just leak. Um, and I won't even notice it. It's not, it's not a ton, but it'll be, like, it's noticeable. Um, so, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for the, my own body. Now, the other ones are going to be a little bit faster, which is good because we're going to not make this video 30 minutes. Um, my, now, my emotional state. Surprisingly enough, this I don't know if this is for everyone or if it's just for me. I've been a lot happier my um, third trimester. Um, I've been doing better of not, at not letting things get to me. I've been letting, br brushing things off. Um, and I think the happiness just comes from the anticipation of her being born. So I'm automatically in a better mood. So I'm like, I don't have time. So I'm too busy worried about, I have, I have bigger fish to fry. My baby's about to be born. I don't care. Um, hi, kitty. I know you couldn't help yourself. You want to come? <laughs> but, um, yeah, I've been, I've been feeling like a sense of at ease. I've been relaxed because it's like, I don't care about what anyone has to say. I don't care about what, no one can make me angry. Well, let me not say that because my boyfriend sure can um but i definitely am more i just feel more at ease and more relaxed overall um i'm not afraid of birth my my fears have gone i'm doing natural birth if, you, if i haven't said that i'd be already i'm going natural or well, i'm going to try for as long as i can and my readiness and my confidence in my own abilities and my own body makes me unafraid i'm not afraid to do it i'm just ready um I'm just feeling very empowered. That's why I feel like the third trimester is a little bit empowering. Um, and then I find myself talking to the baby a lot more out loud. So I talk to her, I say, I just, I speak to her a lot. Um, that just probably comes with the fact that I know she's going to be here soon. Um, and that's pretty much it emotionally. I just surprised myself with how much happier I've been. But that's just, I think, because I know that she's coming. Um... And then I feel at ease about the fact that I have everything that I need. I know that I'm not going to struggle. And I know that my boyfriend is going to be able to take care of everything that I can't take care of at the time. So that just caused me to be at ease. And then my support system, my sisters, my parents, it's just it's very easy for me to be relaxed. Um, which I'm lucky to have. Um, last portion before I show everything. Um, is the baby. The baby is facing, she is head down right now, head between my pelvis, I already said that. She's facing with, she has her back facing you guys, so her face is facing my back. So when I, I feel her back, well I'll show you guys, but I feel her back and her stomach, I mean her, her back and her butt all the time, and her knees and her elbows, that's what I feel mostly. Um, so I don't get like the clear handprint or the clear footprint because I'm getting elbows. Um, she favors one side she stays to one side of my stomach almost always um she hardly ever goes to the other side unless she might she might stretch a leg out over there but she doesn't even like she doesn't care for that side um the left side she moves her movements have changed drastically she still i still feel like she's active um i know for some people it seems like they're not as active when they get this big um but I, to me it's just a stronger movement so it might not be it's just extremely strong. If I can find a video to insert, I'll insert one. But it's just strong. It moves slowly because she's so big. Um, she just doesn't have space. So it's not going to be like, oh, a little cute kick. It's strong. Like, it is a strong movement. Um, sometimes it will literally jerk me. I'm laying still. Um, she has occasional hiccups. But maybe I believe start getting hiccups like second trimester. Um, but her hiccups, I know for sure when she has them. Which also is how I knew that she flipped before the doctors told me because I could feel the hiccups down in my pelvis. Um, she hates when my stomach growls. I know that. Uh, every time my stomach growls, I apologize. I feel so bad because she just 
she goes crazy. I'm assuming that it's loud and it's annoying. Um, she always, I can pretty much count on her always moving around, giving me, being active, whether she's sleeping or not. If I go to my parents' house and my parents and my sisters talk to her, most of my parents, um, or if her father talks to her. Um, like if I haven't seen her father all day or whatever the case may be and we talk to each other and we're talking, she'll immediately, almost immediately start moving. Um, that's probably obviously the most recognizable, bleh, most recognizable voice because she hears that the most. Um, let me see if I'm missing anything. I don't know. I think that I pretty much covered it and I covered it in good timing too. Um, oh, one more thing about my body. I'm going to show you this too. So I didn't want to even, I was going to wait till I showed. I have not gained very many new stretch marks. So I've always been the type that has stretch marks on my hips, like, but they're like the light ones that are like lighter than my body. Um, but I'll show you guys the stretch marks that I do have and then the stretch marks that I don't have. <laughs> and like I said, I've gained most of my weight, boobs, legs, thighs. So for me to have gained 40 something pounds, I don't think this looks half bad. So yeah, this is my stomach shot. All right, so I think that just about covers everything. Um, if I forgot anything, then pregnancy brain, that's what I'm blaming it on. I'm going to get this edited, get this up. If there's any other pregnancy videos, well, I, I keep saying I'm going to record what's in my hospital bag. Um, so that'll be the next one. I might record that tomorrow and have that one up the next day or maybe even tomorrow. I'm not sure. I won't be doing anything. Um, but I think that's about it as far as videos are concerned that I need to put up. Um, until like my time is limited. I have a week and a half until she's here. So, um, I'll post as many as I can pre-baby. And then after that, I'll be doing the labor. I'll show my full labor, uh, contract from first contraction on. I'm going to vlog the whole thing. Um, so you guys can see what it's like for your first baby. And yeah, this is pretty much, I think that I summarized everything as best as I could from my own experience and everyone's different everyone experiences different things um so yeah uh let me know in the comment section if you have any of the same things or any um any like any of the same symptoms or anything similar or anything drastically different for you in your th third bleh, in your third trimester I would love to know um also like comment and subscribe and any other videos you want to see before I give birth or after I give birth just let me know and thank you guys so much for watching.